It's jumpstart time, everyone. Here we finally have my first box of jumpstart. And right out of the gate, I got 10 packs for a patron by the name of Justin Sane. And we're going to see what we can get for Justin here. We are going to delve into this. Mix and match for mix, Maximum Mayhem. A lot of alliteration there. Very fun stuff. Okay. We are getting the first 10 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs. Right there. Okay. We're going to probably open these up two at a time, mash them up and play a game uh, off camera real quick and then we'll also of course scan up the rares and mythics and see if we can get Justin some good value out of these 20 card booster pack some of its land and some of those lands are pretty interesting so we're going to take a look here what did we get devilish versus well actually combined with right so Pirates, right? Some devilish pirates. We got some Rakdos and uh, what? Pirates of blue, sometimes red. So maybe we got a nice little mashup here. How do you open this thing? It's like a little zipper rooney. It's right. Nope, that's not it. Doesn't it look like it should be right there? Come on, where's the where's the peeler? Ah, it's on this side, and it didn't even work the way I thought it was going to. Anyway, so we got this. Ah, Hellrider, yeah. Nice little devil right there, of course. He's not a big uh, not a big money guy, but we'll scan him up anyway. Kind of like the, the devilish, like, it's almost like a poker, like, card thing that it's just a placeholder. There's really not much to it. What else could be in this devilish pack? Hellrider and a Sin Prodder. The Hellrider, ah, uh, you know, that's not real. Hang on one second. There you go. It's a little bit better than two cents, but yeah, it's definitely like kind of a bulk rare, but a sin prodder. Let's see. Also not a big one, but there you go. We're just going to kind of look through a bunch of devil stuff, right? Devils like to gain control of other creatures. Sure. Just devilish like that. Devil, devil, devil. And a uh, lightning core excavator. Does that have anything to do with devils? I'm sure in some way. So these cards are kind of interesting. The, the thriving land uh, um, basically ends up being a um, uh, like a dual um, mana card. Uh, but it has to come in tap. So this right here too, the Devil Mountain. Those ones trend a little bit higher than your standard other mountains and it may not scan it here got a little bit of glare let me see if i can get it to show off there oh almost did it hold on come on it wants to it really wants to it's not gonna all right so we know that the uh devil mountain and the basic lands that have um specialty printings like that are going to be a little better than the regular land so there's that for you there we are gonna open up this pirates pack next and maybe now that we know what we're doing things will go quicker it's really not easy to open oh wait there it is oh, i finally found it look there is a little peeler there this will go much faster now all right pirates placeholder we got a corsair captain and a chart of course is a good uncommon 557 for the Corsair Captain. Let me turn it down a little bit. It's a little loud. Chart of course in standard was a pretty good card. It's useful. I'm not going to change the edition. It's going to be about the same. Coastal Piracy is a reprint, I believe. And yeah, the original Mercadian Mass, like $4.99. Jumpstart version, still like four bucks. So we're getting a little bit of value here. We're on our way. And I may not be able to pick out every good common and uncommon mainly after the rares the thriving isle let's see if this one shows up as a buck there not bad right so and let's see did we get a yeah that's a very cool pirate themed island right there the airship pirates i like it there it saw it a buck 76 so here's our here's our good stuff pile and then some other lands 
All this stuff is going to my patron, Justin, eventually. Okay, so that was Pirates and Devils. Next two packs. What's going to be the, the mashup combo here? All right, we'll flip them at the same time for maximum excitement. We got, ooh, dinosaurs and minions. Very cool. Um, I like the idea of this product. I think it will do very well um, at retail. I hope so anyway. Uh, we're just random new people to the game can go grab a couple of quick packs to just throw together and have a quick game. Um, I think it's a great idea. I'm sure it was riffed off of uh, other games that kind of do some similar stuff. But here we go. So dinosaurs, there could be a big hit in here if we get a mythic. Galta is still pretty good. It's not the one I was thinking of. And a Drover of the Mighty is an uncommon. So Galta, pretty dang good. Let's see if the jumpstart version is less. A little bit, yeah, 497 for a Galta. That's okay. Drover of the Mighty, Savage Stomp. Cultivate, great, uncommon which has been now reprinted a bunch of times in the last like three minutes it seems like. Colossal Dreadmaw, that's a classic right there. Thriving Grove, let's see if the Thrive Lands are pretty cool. They're gonna be uh, pretty good for Popper, I imagine. A Dilophosaur, and did we get a Dinosaur Forest? We certainly did. There it is, let's see if that one, Scannable, yes. And it trends a little higher and some basics all right the minions not sure what's going to go into this one looks like some golgari spy network kind of stuff Woo, phyrexian tower there's a little hit right there let's see what it goes for nowadays 16 bucks for the ultimate masters and the jump start a little bit less 13 there's a good hit right there which is cauldron you can cook anything in that cats Dinosaurs, imps, whatever you want. And did I miss anything? Eliminate. No, no, these are M21 cards. Ghoul Caller's Apprentice, that's what that was the art from. Thriving More. The uh, the Black End Something Thriving Land. Yeah, Buck there. I think we're going to see those pop up from time to time. So this one, yeah, it's like an impish gargoyle swampy right there. Let's see. Eh, not a big one. Pretty cool art with the sun there. Some good swamps. All right. Next set. Next two combos. Let's check these out. Oh, man. Can't even open it. There we go. All right. That one's down. That one down. All right. What are we going to get here? What are we going to mash up? And more minions. Oh, my. And dogs. Minions and dogs. So let's see if this minions pack is a bit different than the last one. And then we'll check out the dogs. Okay. Another minion. Ooh, there we go. A legendary warlock Kells fight fixer. Menace, whenever you sacrifice a creature, you may pay Demir. If you do, draw a card. You can sacrifice a creature to pay one, and it gets indestructible until end of turn. It's a nice little um, aristocrats enabler, and another witch's cauldron. So this Kel's pretty good, 845 to go with your Phyrexian Tower there. Nice that you didn't get exactly the same pack there. Um, some little differences there in the uncommon slot and in the common. So pretty pretty decent. Little differences there. The thriving more we had seen before. And another one of these Swampers, which was under 90 cents or so. There you go. All right, let's check out these doggy boys. Sir, good boy. Pack leader, there he is. Other dogs you control get plus one, plus one. And an Isamara. That's a good hit right there. A couple bucks for... This one was reprinted from uh, 2021. I believe it actually just uses the 2021... Um, nomenclature since it's not a jump start reprint like this one. Isamaro is three bucks or so. 
Got some dogs. You can buff your dogs. You can create dogs. You can exile dogs and get a soldier for it. Rambunctious mutt. Pacifism. Here's the white choice land there. 88 cents. And there's a dog planes. That's pretty funny. He looks really happy to be in that little plane. Let's see how this one goes. Yeah, five bucks for this land. Um, that one's going to be in pretty good demand, I think. For all of those dog decks out there. All right, next two. Get something spicy. All right. Heavily armored and goblins. Fun stuff. All right, so heavily armored. Are these all like um, defender creatures? Let's find out. And you got gobos. Heavily armored. It says, oh, it says it's white down there. So that's kind of nice. It tells you. Got yeah, Duelist Heritage. Remember, one or, one or more creatures attack. You may have target attacking creature gain. Double strike until end of turn. Solid. High Sentinels of the Avon. So this is a reprint from Commander. Jumpstart version. A little bit less. A couple bucks there. And the High Sentinels, I think, is another reprint. It's not worth much. Got some Knights. Got some Soldiers. You got a dog. So here's... Yep, soldiers and knights and dogs, oh my. Warriors. Yeah, it's just going to battle, basically, right? Another Thriving Heath. Bink. Got the Acolyte. And then this is, uh, yeah, okay, it's like a shield, mirror shield. Let's see if this one rates a little bit more. Not so much. The dog one is more desirable, I think. All right, Goblin. So, wanted Goblin Mountain out of this. Maybe we'll get some a legendary goblin. Let's see. Goblin Chieftain. Alright, solid. Gotta have the goblin lords. Other goblin creatures you control have one, one, half haste. And a goblin goon. The chieftain has been reprinted a few times. Goblin goon is a goblin mutant. 6-6. Six, six. Can't attack unless you control more creatures than defending player. That's doable in a goblin's deck. Can't block unless you control more creatures than attacking than attacking player. Yeah. I think that's got some uses. Wow, that's it. I guess it it already hurts to get to four mana in a goblin deck, but I'm surprised. Well, there it is. Beetleback Chief. Is this a pretty decent one? Not so much. That is, to me, not a goblin. It's like a monkey, but I guess that's what the, uh, the goblins of Ixalan were like. Volley Veteran. More goblins, goblin rogues, goblin scouts, goblin warriors. Oops! Thriving Bluff again. I think we had seen this one already. And it wouldn't... There. We did see it. Just a little bit. So, and then this is the Goblin Mountain. You can see them all there just kind of like swarming over the mountain. And it's a buck. There we go. And some regular mountains. Alright. Last two packs. What are we going to combo up here? Alright, Justin, here we go. Archaeology and Doctor. Let's see. Archaeology. We're going to get some artifacts. And Doctor. We're going to get some healing. I imagine. Alright. It's a lot of packaging. It's not terrible, but it's a little extra. Archaeology. A Sharding Sphinx and a Vedelkin Archmage. 45 cents and a Buried Ruin. That's a good land. Vedelkin Archmage, 689. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, draw a card. That's decent. And a Buried Ruin and a Hedron Archive. So we got some nice um, artifact related stuff here. A juggernaut and a Meteor Golem. Yeah, all stuff that's. Uh, pretty useful to artifacts. There's for now is not a whole lot. Two Archaeomenders in a row right there. A little bit of duplication. Not seeing any misprints. I'd heard that this uh, 
set was full of misprints, but didn't really seem to get any here. And then the uh, must be the archaeology island right there. Let's see how this one goes. Just 90 cents and a little bit there. Okay, the doctor on the man, speaker of the heavens from M21 for the rare. Griffin Airy Light of Promise. A Bright Mare. This seems like a newish kind of card. I think this one trends a little bit up. Eh, 70 cents or so. Face Fetter is a good card. Somewhat. Unicorns. Thriving Heath. And, yep, there we go. And then the Ley Line Planes. Pretty cool there. All right, all right, there we go. All right, that is it for 10 packs for my patron, Justin. Thank you very much. It was fun. And they should be fun to play with. Oop, there's plastic there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Tragic MTG saying catch you later.